If you use a Google Calendar in your classroom, it's really easy to add that same Google Calendar into Schoology. First, you obviously need to have your Google Calendar created and it needs to be set to public view. To check this, use the drop down menu by your calendar's name and choose Share This Calendar. Make sure the setting is public, not just Share with Jeffco, otherwise, students who are not already logged into their Jeffco Google Apps accounts will only see a blank page in Schoology, not the actual calendar. Okay, now we need a place in Schoology to put or embed this calendar. First, I will use the Add Materials button to make a new folder called Class Calendar. And I'll use the Options button to put this at the very top of the list of my folders. Now I will click into that folder to embed my calendar. If you are wanting to embed any items in Schoology, you will use the Add Materials button and you'll choose the Add a Page or Text Block tool. Title your page, and now it's time to grab the calendar's embed code, so back to Google Calendar we go. This time, use the drop down menu next to your calendar's name and choose Calendar Settings. Scroll down to the area where it says Embed the Calendar and copy the code you see. Make sure you copy all of it. Now go back to Schoology. We just copied HTML code, so we need to paste that into the HTML editor. Use the toggle button at the far right of the toolbar to switch to HTML and paste in your code. Use that same toggle to go back to visual view. You can see something is there, but until we click create, we can't tell quite what. And now I need to click on my calendar page to see how it looks. This looks great, but if I want to adjust the size, I could do so by using the gear to edit. And if I click once on the embedded item, I see a picture type icon and I can use that to adjust properties. And you can see where you can adjust the dimensions right here. Let me cancel this and show you one other customization you might choose to make. Right now I have to click on the calendar page's title to see the calendar, which is great if you have other items in the folder too and you want students to progress through each page by page. But if this is the only thing in the folder or if it's a really, really important bit of information that you want to sort of pop out, you can make it so that the item shows without having to click on its title. Let me show you how to do this. First, use that gear icon to edit. Then look down at the bottom of the page editor and click the button to change from display on a new page to display inline. Save your changes. Now my calendar shows without that extra click of having to select its title. And remember, I won't ever have to manage my Google Calendar here in Schoology. As soon as I add any new events or make any changes to my Google Calendar, those changes will be updated here as well.